Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to take a wheel that's been spray painted and messed up like this one and turn it into this after you've removed the paint. And then I'm gonna show you the finished product where it's not perfect, but it looks a hell of a lot better. So let's get to it. Get down, 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 down. Turn it up. Okay, so here's the wheel. You're getting shot here with it. it Look good. Um, I've already stripped off the paint on this wheel using the uh, the Rust Oleum paint remover, and it works pretty good. It has peeled off some of the original finish, as you can see here and there, and stuff like that. So to make it smooth again, what you're going to do getting camera shot here you're gonna take like a 600 grit sandpaper something rough enough to where you can knock down any rough spots over here or there basically any, anywhere on the wheel that way you can make it look good when you're done so because when we're done we're gonna hit it with this the duplicolor high performance wheel coating I picked out the which you saw in the beginning of the video I picked out the dark metallic gray looks really good in person. I don't know how it's turning out on the video, but I think it looks pretty good. And once you're done with that paint, what I used was a high gloss finish, also from Duplicolor. <laughs> so this is also like a review for Duplicolor. I'm not sponsored in any way. This is just my review. So, first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of that sandpaper. Let's see, here's a there's a rough spot or actually let's do this right here. So you just take your sandpaper and just knock it down. Yep, and you can see pieces coming off. It already starts to feel better. So go ahead and take your time, sand the whole wheel which is what I'm going to do right now. I'll cut this and I'll come back and we'll start painting. Okay. So here it is. I've sanded some of it down. This wheel is not perfect. None of them are going to be perfect on this setup. This is just going on a cheap Miata, Miata project I've got. If you haven't checked it out, look up the Stuart Little projects on my channel. So if you're not a, a subscriber yet, Hit the subscribe button. Check me out. Stick around. So the next step is going to be spraying on the Duplicolor paint. So I've used a little bit of this already, and it sprays really well. Really well. Uh, let me clear out the nozzle. So I'd recommend the best thing to do is it comes out a lot really quick. So just... Go around, do a light, just a little light coat, because it will run really fast on you. I would just do a little tacky coat like that, get a little more. Look at that. It's already changing. Already looks good. So I would let that dry for a few minutes. Let me get in the camera shot. Hi, everyone. Uh, let that first coat dry a little bit when it gets tacky, which you can just find a little spot and just touch, see if it's tacky or not. So when it becomes... It stinks. When it becomes tacky, just go ahead and give it another coat. But like I recommended before, this stuff, it sprays on really thick, really fast. So if you don't want it to run, I always recommend just doing light coats like this. So as far as how many coats, that's going to depend on you. It depends how good you want it to look. Some people are probably going to look at this and go, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, but that'll just depend on you. I'm probably going to put maybe three or four coats on this, and then maybe four coats of the clear coat. 
So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna put a couple of coats on this, and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like all painted before we do the clear coat. So there we go. Hey everyone. So here's the wheel. It's all finished up. I've got about three or four coats of clear coat on it. The sun's going down, so I couldn't show you a picture of it of it out in the sun. But if I move it around like that, I mean, you can you can see the gloss on it. It's it looks good. It's got a good metallic flake to it. It looks really nice. So these wheels are actually for Stuart Little. So yeah, because the wheels that are on Stuart Little don't belong to me. I just borrowed them. Borrowed the wheels from a friend of mine because when I got the car, I had four four flat tires. And the wheels didn't match. I had three different styles of wheel. So someone let me borrow these wheels for now until I get a new set. And I'm getting brand new tires put on these wheels this week. So I'm going to show you a video where I put the new wheels on Stuart Little here and get that going again. We're going to go out and actually do a little road trip and have some fun with it. So after that, I'd just like to say thank you very much, everyone who's watched my videos. Everyone who has stuck around, subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you're brand new to the channel, thanks for finding me. Subscribe to the channel. And if you guys really want to help me out, I would really appreciate it. You can, so you can help me by going to my PayPal or I'm launching Patreon very soon. Hoping to do a lot of more better videos, better quality, getting more fun products to play with, showing you a lot more stuff that I haven't even shown anyone yet. So hopefully that'll be coming up soon. So always remember, if you got a project going on, don't give up. Just keep going. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it.